of Terrific TV Toys, you saw four action figures slash dolls by Kenner from the 1970s celebrating the TV shows The Six Million Dollar Man and The Bionic Woman. They were fabulous. Now let's turn our attention to five newer figures. These are by Biff Bang Pow. They were released in 2012 and they're way different from those Kenner originals. This is a five-part series coming at you and each one of these parts is an out-of-the-box experience. Let's talk about Dr. Rudy Wells, the physician of the Bionics from the Six Million Dollar Man and the Bionic Woman TV shows. And this is a new figure by Biff Bang Pow, around 2012 it was released. And Dr. Rudy Wells was not the subject of one of the original figures by Kenner in the 1970s. This is a whole new thing. As far as I know, this is the only, or maybe I should say this is the first figure of Dr. Dr. Rudy Wells that was done. I don't know of any others offhand. Um, but, like I said, it was not part of Kenner's original line. And the different thing about this one of the five figures that I'm showing you is the triple head action we've got going on here because this character on the TV shows was played by three different gentlemen, and you see that they are included on the label here um, to identify them, Martin E. Brooks, Alan Oppenheimer, and Martin Balsam. And I will note that... Martiny e. Brooks is really the Rudy Wells that we know the best from the TV show. He played Rudy for 44 episodes of Six Million Dollar Man from 1975 to 1978, and then 45 episodes of The Bionic Woman, plus the reunion movies. Now, Alan Oppenheimer played Rudy in seven episodes in 1974-1975. Um, for the Six Million Dollar Man. And then Martin Balsam was Rudy in the original 1973 movie, so that's why he is included here, too. It does say on the label uh, to switch heads. Heat with a blow dryer or soak in hot water. Hmm, that will be interesting. So the packaging is really the same as the other figures you saw. I will note that this is a sticker here with his name on it. I could probably try to peel it off and see what's underneath if I really was curious enough. I don't want to ruin the packaging though because I am going to keep the card. Yeah, I'm going to ruin the packaging so I'll leave it as is. But yeah, that's a sticker. The back is the same. The original five characters, actually six characters of this wave are shown here. We do know that there were others released after that which I discuss in the other episodes of this series. And then this on the back that says Dr. Rudy Wells 8 inch figure is also a sticker so looks like with the barcode on it looks like they um, saved a little bit of money on packaging here this is of course an out-of-the-box experience so let's get him out of the box we'll start from the top it seems to be easiest with these figures I have found and I am going to hang on to the card and we'll just take this part off for Rudy. Come on, Rudy. There we go. Okay, we'll set that aside. Set the card aside. <laughs> These heads are so interesting. Look at this one. Wow. Um, this one, I believe, is Alan Oppenheimer, and it's got like these, if I can get this to focus, this camera, it's got these interesting gray spots on the bald part of his head to coincide or to coordinate with the actual hair, which is not actual hair on the figure, but you know what I'm saying um, on the rest of the head. And then we've got this other one. Is he wearing Martin Balsam? It seems like he's wearing 
Martin Balsam, and maybe this is Martin E. Brooks. Does this look more like Martin E. Brooks to you? <laughs> I don't know. I'm going into this cold, so um, I just know that Martin E. Brooks is the Rudy that I know from the TV show. Let me get him all unhooked here. Just got one little twist tie thing there and here and then this just comes off this plastic part like that so here's Rudy Wells and he's got his scrubs on his um, typical green surgical scrubs he's got feet with sneakers on them that look like they can be removed but I'm not going to force them at the moment and then the scrubs have Velcro in the back, and then he's got similar imprint and printing as the other figures, 2012 Universal Studios, Biff Bang Pow, and then um, MC Toys here, Made in China. So yeah, very similar to the other figures we've looked at in the other episodes. Let's see if I can get that all squared away and straight. There! Okay, so very simple outfit, just a shirt and pants and sneakers but the interesting thing is the head should we try to switch his head I don't think we can do this episode without trying you know okay because if you just try to take it off you could break it so um, luckily I have here a handy dandy blow dryer and talking about the 70s and 80s, this is also a 70s and 80s relic. I will note, I'm not going to even tell you <laughs> the history of this blow dryer. Um, it says to heat the head. Um, to switch heads, heat with a blow dryer or soak in hot water. We'll try this method first. We'll see if it works. Let's see what happened. Oh, it is softer, but I still feel like I'm going to break it. Oh, there it is. Okay, <laughs> we've got one head off. Now, do we dare? Oh yeah, I see what we're what's going on here. This part is so tough. It is just not going to go back in there and see. It softens it up considerably. So, let's do this right. It's really tough. Ugh. I 
think we gotta nuke it again. it seems to help a little bit or not. Wow. That is, a, oh, okay. That was a toughie. <laughs> but there he is. Rudy with a new head and played by a new actor. I guess perhaps that could work. That whole blow dryer routine could work on the sneakers too. Who knows? At any rate, stay tuned because we're going to round out this series with the incomparable Oscar Goldman.